Hello everyone and welcome to the FinPro Consulting's YouTube channel. As you all are aware, ACCA Diploma IFRS examination from December 2020 will be now computer based examination. There are a lot of questions, queries missed around the CBE environment. How that environment will look like? How do we give examination in a computer based environment? How do we write? Will it be an objective type questions, etc, etc. We will try and demystify today the CB environment as such. I will give you a quick overview of the CB environment. How does it look like and what are the various functionalities those are available in the CB environment and how do you write the paper. Most importantly, this is not an objective type questions. You will have to write instead of writing it with pen and paper, you will write it with the help of keyboard and a computer. Considering you know this examination is given by a lot of professionals, as you all are aware again, that this examination requires at least two years of experience with a relevant degree. So that all professionals are working professionals and they might have lost touch of writing and most of us have lost touch of writing. One of the major reason for the failures amongst the professionals in Diploma IFRS was lack of practice in writing. To remove this hassle, anyways ACCA for other its qualifications like skill levels and knowledge level and professional level, they have made it computer based. But similarly here also, they have aligned it to the professional life and the various type of apparatus which you use for your day to day work will be used for giving this examination which is far more suitable than the earlier method of pen and paper. So this is to our greatest advantage. This problem has been resolved of writing a question, writing an answer sheet for three hours. So let's quickly check on how to access this. So I have just typed Diploma IFRS CB examination in Google. You go to the CB platform, CB specimen examination. Otherwise where you will find if you go to ACCA website in a student section, in the student section, you will have to go exam support resources for Diploma IFRS. There you will find this specimen examination. In the CB specimen examination, you will find three sections. One, it's actual specimen examination, which will be for three hours. It is like a live examination scenario. They have developed it here. Specimen is one environment, live is another environment. So like live environment, live examination environment, you will get the specimen examination environment here. So it is good for our practice. Apart from that, there is a diploma IFRS guide to CB. If you see this, this is the diploma IFRS guide. This is a 14 page document which in detail provides you the features of this particular environment, how various exhibits or what are the environments are given like spreadsheet and like word. This is not Excel. This is not MS Word. This is like MS Excel, like MS Word. So similar scenarios, all the functionalities will not be available in this particular environment. But the details have been given in this document. So I would request all of you that you must go through this 14 page document well in advance. So there is still one and a half month and I have purposely uh, told you that do not do this at that point of time a month back and try to go through this document, this examination related uh, supporting videos at a later point of time when at least something has happened at your end for the studies, then you will get some kind of a confidence while you look at these. The second guide I would say 
is this one. In this case, this is a CB functionality guidance where there are differences between live environment and the specimen examiner. Very minor differences. But these five differences you should be aware and these are very very simple. So I'll tell you these differences at a later point of time. First, we will try, sorry. First, we will try and look at the specimen examination. So, let's click here on the CB specimen examination. This page will open in front of you. You will have to read the introduction and you will have to do it in this two to three days itself. So, whenever you watch this video, there and there itself you read this instructions and introductions. I am not going uh, in detail through this introduction. But what is simply written here, I will just quickly read the first line and you will get the idea. The specimen exam indicates how the live exam will be structured and assessed. The, li the likely layout and the style of the questions and the range of response options that could be presented to you in each question's workspace. So we will look for how the environment look like, where are we going to find the questions, where are we going to give our responses. So all these things will be explained in this environment. Very importantly, this particular, so you can click next after this. These will be the instructions in the live examination also. These instructions will be there in the live examination session as well. Here, if you see the general instructions, they have said the specimen examination is not time. This specimen examination is not time. This timing to which you are going to read this instructions will be not timed in this examination, specimen examination. However, in live session, whenever you will go, let's say on 11th of December or in subsequent examinations in June and then subsequent December, these instructions will have time of 10 minutes. You have only 10 minutes to read this instruction. Subsequent to that, your time of 3 hours 15 minutes will start. So I'll go back to again previous page. Here, this total time period available for solving this question paper is 3 hours 15 minutes. This will start after this 10 minutes in live examination. Then there are various workspaces they have explained and all the features they have explained in this. So what exactly it means. So You'll see that I'll explain you after this. You will have to go through the instructions. I am going to give you the end all these explanations while we are watching at the uh, examination. So once you complete all the four pages. So remember, if you do not read the entire page, you will not be able to click on the next page. The click will be unhighlighted. It will not be highlighted. So currently, if I see here, there will be a red highlight and you can actually click here but if your screen is smaller and you are not able to see the entire instructions until and unless you scroll down entirely you will not be able to press next total time allowed will be 3 hours 15 minutes the exam contains 4 questions of 25 marks each that is how you have to give 100 marks so there is a change in pattern since last December, December 2019. This after clicking next, you will find one instruction. Once you click yes, you can do this in a live session before 10 minutes as well. So you can't do like this, that instruction page you complete within 5 minutes or you don't read it. And then you utilize that time for 
solving the examination paper this will not happen examination will have timing of 3 hours 15 minutes only whether you spend 10 minutes to read instructions or whether you spend 1 minute to read the instruction it doesn't make any difference so once you click here yes then your examination will start then your examination will start your 3 hours 15 minutes will start now I'll quickly tell you that how it works so there are sections in this if you see you can reduce it you can increase it so there are two sections like this you can reduce you can increase the part whatever you want if you see on the left right hand side corner you see one of four so this is first question out of four questions so whenever you click on the right hand bottom side you can see the next it will take you to the second question so I'll just show you this will be the second question so here you will see the instruction has changed two of four further clicking next it will show three of four further clicking next it will show four of four you can go back to previous questions as well even you can see the navigator here so navigator is question one two three and four so if you start something writing then it will say you have attempted if you have not opened anything it will say not attempted and i have not even seen question three and four it will show that those questions are unseen you can also flag particular question for your subsequent review you may feel that i have made certain mistake in it but i do not want to spend my time on that just flag it again below that number that question number two or four you can see flag for review so let's say if i flag it for review here and if i click it on navigator it will show that question number two i have flagged it for my review so that functionality is available here i am going to do this navigation i'm going to see how many questions are there how many i have seen how many i have not seen a lot of time you know i have heard these from the students that by mistake i haven't seen this question at all it got missed from me now this kind of a problem will not arise because of this navigation you can close it off i'll go to the previous question once again on question number one if you see here i'll come on the uh, this part on the uh, toolbar at a later point of time however first i will explain you these sections there are different section to this this is exhibit this is requirement and this is a response option any question will have four sections out of these three are here in front of you exhibit requirement and response option and another is this this is called as an introduction section this is an introduction section any question you will find introduction in this particular section you can read that introduction what you will have to do they will give some kind of an instruction here this is consolidation related question you can immediately analyze alpha a parent with a subsidiary beta is preparing the consolidated financial position consolidated statement of financial position as at 30th september 2007 so they are preparing so they are preparing balance sheet you can easily understand this is a balance sheet consolidation problem and you have to solve it earlier when the question the first question was a 40 marks there used to be one subsidiary one associate or joint venture or two subsidiaries this used to be earlier format now because the weightage has been reduced there is generally one subsidiary you will get only one subsidiary and you know that why the pattern has been changed i've explained it earlier now in this exhibit 
exhibit gives you various paragraphs so it becomes even more easier for us I will click here on the first exhibit now exhibit you can keep it here you can keep it here now this is the balance sheet you can increase its size to the full level you can decrease its size just to see the two columns you can copy paste it whatever you want to do you can do it you can scroll it down so it is just a balance sheet of alpha and beta this is a standalone financial statement of alpha and beta only balance standalone statement of financial position as at the reporting period so you have to utilize this and they have given property plant and equipment exhibit too you have to read with respect to that there might be certain adjustment so this balance sheet you can read we are not solving the question i am just explaining the ud environment we will solve the questions at a later point of time then you click on the exhibit 2 and you will get this you can just keep it here for your understanding however in examination you will get a separate paper also to make your own notes you can make your own notes on the paper so if you want to write something you can write it down if you can if you want to make any note you can make it on a paper or what you can do is you can use the scratch pad on the toolbar i am explaining one uh, one thing to you here this is a scratch pad this will not be evaluated this will not be submitted for the evaluation if you want to make use of it copy paste all the text from here and you can give it in your answer sheet i have not shown where is the answer sheet yet so you can scratch on a uh, scratch pad you can make notes whatever so you can make notes on a scratch pad or on a physical paper which will be provided to you at in this uh, at the center as i said if you want to write down something if you want to uh, write down something or you know highlight here you can use this highlight function you can select here if you will see the blue kind of a highlight here in the live session it will be grayed out the color will be different that's one of the difference which i was explaining earlier so let's say on 1st october 2000 x4 alpha acquired 90 million shares in beta if you want to highlight this so you can highlight it. so you can select the text go to highlight and choose the color so you wanted to highlight this this is an important question important sentence in this so i am highlighting it in this let's say in this particular section these are the these are also important sentences but i would like to highlight it in a different color so i am highlighting it in a different color that is also available you can do it so at a later point of time while solving you can pick up whatever is important and whatever you have highlighted so it's just the same thing we used to underline our physical question paper you can just highlight it here that's it again these are the various exhibits the information will be given here in physical question paper it will be paragraph by paragraph these paragraphs have been broken down here with the heading so you do not even have to analyze this is intra group related information which you have to eliminate you which you have to knock out the uh, intra group profit unrealized profits etc share based payment so just by reading this now you know what kind of adjustments are there in the consolidated financial statement so you need not worry to analyze that this is from which topic i have to do this adjustment which topic i have to apply my knowledge in this question you don't have to do it it's given here it's very simple and straightforward life has become more easier requirement all windows can be opened simultaneously while reading it you can keep next to each other if you want to keep it here you can reduce the size you can reduce the size 
you can again now this is a very small adjustment you can reduce the size you can keep it here so all these things you can do and you can read the entire problem not an issue and now you would like to close it so here there is a close all tab so this is close all tab you can close it so all tabs will get closed immediately as i said requirement will be given here so what is the requirement requirement is using the draft statement of sofp of alpha and its subsidiary beta as at 30th september 2007 in exhibit 1 so exhibit 1 has given you the balance sheets sfs and with the further information from exhibit 2 to 4 you need to solve you need to uh, prepare the consolidated financial position at this particular date so requirement is also there you can close this tab immediately this is a response option this is in excel or this may be in word or rather i would say this is in spreadsheet or this may be in a word form now here as i said earlier this is your response option let's say you have this question in front of you and you want to copy something from here so let's say i want to copy this balance sheet so that anyways i'll have to write this down so i can copy so you can say here copy you will not be able to cut anything in the exhibits because that is uneditable thing here leave 8 to 10 lines because if you want to uh, write anything on the top you cannot insert the line you cannot delete the lines you just have to insert uh, uh, you just have to copy paste it right you can make the space by uh, cop by cut cutting that particular section which you want below the upper section and create a space in between so let's i'll give the example keep few five six lines here and control c control v also you can do so shortcut these shortcuts are available you can double click the lines and you can resize the column so the balance sheet we which, which we used to you know write with our hand we don't have to do that you just have to keep it here re, uh, remove this exhibit 2 and everything instead if you want to write working note number 1 let's suppose so now here i cannot add anything so there is no let's say i have done you know right click i have clicked right click here i cannot insert anything but i want one column here for notes so what i can do is i will select here this particular column i will select it i will go here and i will paste it here control v so this is this is how you create lines columns etc you cannot insert you cannot delete so that you'll have to keep in mind so here you can say working note here you can say working note number let's say if there is any uh, you know working note or adjustment here you can write one you can align it here center line you can right align you can left align all sorts of formatting is also allowed here if you want to do the adjustment column here so you can write adjustment and you can write total you can write total sorry now here let's say adjustment is minus sorry so let's say adjustment is minus 10000 minus 10000 and let's say you would like to format it as per whatever formatting is given here so they have placed a column after thousands so you can select that formatting here so it's very simple if you want to add this 
you can simply place uh, equal to sorry sum comma you can just select these three columns the similar way you did it in excel and it will give you the total so you don't have to do it on a calculator again here as well you can do that same formatting number formatting for million placeholder so you can do that so this kind of formatting is available if you want to increase the size of the sheet you can do it so all sort of formatting is very very simple and easy which will save your lot of time even here you can place all kind of formulas you don't have to use calculators there is no question of you know checking the totals again and again on a calculator where you have if you have made any mistake it will be in a fraction of second that totals will be there it has reduced our time significant if you see just do not press this reset button this is very important thing which you'll have to consider below edit there is a reset button if you go and place your cursor you'll find the reset button do not click on that because it will reset entire answer so it will show you the message let's say you have pressed it are you sure you want to reset resetting will remove any responses you have made on this particular item and unanswered it will get back to an unanswered sheet so let's say no correct so you have your save your work is automatically saved you don't have to save anything you don't have to save anything let's say by mistake i've closed it by mistake i've closed it no problem immediately open it it will give you the same thing or it will start from wherever you have stopped working so you will not save that separately whatever you have written here it will get automatically saved all sorts of formatting tools again i'll say cut copy paste format painter undo redo you can uh, zoom in zoom out you can change the font make it bold italic underline you can feel the particular say let's say i would like to do it with a red feel so this is red color this is let's say white feel this is anyways white i'm sorry so i can highlight it with the yellow whatever you would like to do you can do it here alignments as i said percentage and uh, date format everything is available so it is the most simpler way and most effective way there is no question of legitimate writing here your answer will be legible you are going to type it so another question of whether my handwriting will be understandable to the examiner that question has now been removed because of this platform so as i said there are four sections number one exhibit which provides you the question and its marks then requirements and then your response options so here it is available for the spreadsheet i'll go to the next question question number 2 here there would be three different questions available in exhibit so they have given an introduction here so gamma company with the year end 30th september blah 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 following exhibits gives you the you know questions and you have to give options in the response option so marks have also been given if you see the requirement for first question you have 9 marks second question you have 11 marks for third question you have 5 marks so you just have to read it and solve the answer you click on exhibit 1 it will throw you a question it has given marks here as well you can go to second question it will throw you the question give mark given marks are here receivables again question is here it is only for 5 marks now in word processor it's your response you can keep your response here you can keep your question here you can keep your question here if you want to zoom it out zoom it so you can read the question like this and you can let's say exhibit 1 exhibit 1 start writing the answer response to exhibit 1 you can also write response to response to exhibit 
and then you can start writing after this response to one you want to like to solve the second response to exhibit three i would like to answer third first not an issue right uh, response to third first if you want again in the sequence you write third first then you write second then cut it and paste it about this so as simple as that you can have again paragraphs here in whatever you do it in word you can insert table row sale column number of lines however how many you want you can insert it so you can do that again this is a reset button do not use it it will anyways throws you an instruction but be careful with this button because whatever you have written if you reset and by mistake if you said yes your entire answer is gone correct so uh, you uh, be careful with this this is cut copy paste there are also strike through related option given on the main uh, sheet so if you want to strike through this or let's say you have read this and this let's say information is useless so i'll strike through this do not read this i'll strike through this strike through this so i don't want this information because this doesn't give or this is not helpful in solving the question and that's why i'm striking it off so that you can do it with the help of strike in this particular uh, you know uh, coming back to the stool bar in this particular environment which is a practice and specimen environment you will have explain answer so you will find answers here you will find answers here otherwise in live exam this tab will not be there so apart from that you will find all other tabs symbol if you want to know, use let's say dollar symbol here insert you will be able to use the dollar symbol so insert dollar symbol as i have already explained you how to highlight strike through calculator you can use calculators here so this is a scientific calculator you can use or you can also choose the standard one so standard one is also given here so you can choose any of the calculator you can also use physical calculator in the live session in the live examination you can also use the uh, uh, calculator uh, a physical calculator no prohibition on that you can close this exhibit you can go to next you will again see there are two questions one is for 8 marks another is for sale and lease back for 9 marks 9 8 17 marks this question is so where is balance so every question is of 25 marks these are only 17 marks so remaining questions you see here this is a theoretical question so these two questions you have to explain these are the 8 marks 17 plus 8 25 so you just have to read these questions and you have to give answers theoretically so this is with respect to lease all right so one entire question question number 3 on one single particular standard which is generally the case if you see the recent blog which is uh, you know published on the uh, finpro website this is not my uh, you know uh, own research kind of a thing this is given by acc i have made it available to all so you read that and how the questions will be structured i have written in that particular blog sometime later i will do the video as well for these requirements so the 17 mark requirement is also given here so you have to read it and then you can write it in the word processor so only question number 1 mostly you will find it you will have to solve otherwise everywhere else you will have to explain and if you want to solve anything you can do it in the uh, you can insert a table and write something down so it will be more presentable in this case and easier for you now once you have completed question number 3 you can go to question number 4 question number 4 again there are four different question if you see the requirement you will find how the 25 marks have been rearranged 6 7 7 7 5 like that they have bifurcated 25 marks amongst the four different standards so because the question number 1 has been reduced from 40 marks to 25 marks 
the scope of ACCA with respect to number of standard has increased. And because of this reason, December 19 result was not very good. Worldwide, it was 36-37% for diploma. For generally, it is 45-55% to 55 in the range of 45-55. to 55. And at times, it has gone to 60% as well. However, in this particular December 2019 examination last year, when the paper pattern was changed, the result was came down significant, had came down significantly. So we cannot keep anything in option. You have to do everything. Once you know you have again you can write something here, and you know all sorts of options strikes through strike through underlying option, italic bold search option is also there. Uh, zoom in option is also there. So you can do that. You can go to navigator, and because I have not written anything, I have seen the questions. I have not written anything so that written that it is not attempted so let's say if i write something here or response to exhibit one and let's say if i close it if i go back and if i write here and I close it and I use open the navigator I have attempted all of them I have made I flagged one for my review so I can go there I can go there on second question I can go directly from this particular table and I can check this I have reviewed it so I have removed the flag if I check the navigator Again, there is nothing to review. So I'll close it. I'll go here after the fourth question. I've completed all of them. So this screen comes in front of you to review that. So this is item review screen. So all are attempted. Nothing is pending. You can review all of them once again. And I can click here end examination I can click here on end examination okay so I can also click on review all review not attempted so whichever I have not attempted I can also say that not attempted so this is a very good tool where you can actually go back and check whether you have attempted everything you have not missed anything out of it and once you are sure that you have completed everything then you can end the exam. It will give you an ex a, a, a message which, say, which says you have chosen to end the exam. If you continue, you will not be able to return to the examination. Are you sure you want to end the exam? You can say no, you can yes. And you can say yes. Once you say yes, you will not be able to go back. Again, they will say, are you sure you want to end the exam? So there is a double check, you can do it. And then once you click yes, then you have out of the exam you cannot go back there is no back button you just have to exit it from the exam that's it again it will throw back in the live examination you will be out of that tool and in the cv specimen examination you will be on this particular screen as a mock test i will always suggest use the specimen examination and solve one mock test correct all other mock tests which I am going to give you will be on a PDF and you will have to solve it either on Excel or on a word based scenario. So wherever the question is regarding solving use Excel based sheet, wherever it's about explaining, you can use the normal word based. So wherever explain and solve both questions appear in front of you, you can use word file with Excel table inserted in that. So that's a good medium for practice. Quickly, small differences which I was going to uh, you know, speak with you is this. So let's say this particular document has given you the differences between life and specimen examination. 
you had seen the space cb specimen examination uh, environment you would have found this so if you see the the the, the toolbar is uh, highlighted in black and the icons are little different than what you will see in the live examination so in live examination the icons are little different so that you will have to take a note of it it's not very difficult to be very honest it's very straightforward how do you select test in live mode and in specific mode so this is given here so you'll have to go actually click on that particular then from yellow highlight which is on a hand tool it will go to this particular otherwise in specimen you can directly go and select this will not happen in the live you just have to click on the select one and then you can select the text as i said once you select it in the specimen it will be highlighted in light blue color or violet color in the live se session examination session it will be highlighted in gray it will be gray out correct that's the simple difference then again pdf uh, this toolbar is little different but again uh, you will be able to understand that this is just a two page document and uh, copy paste in cb specimen you can just copy it and paste it once you click there but in live examination you can you will have to double click on the sheet and then you will have to paste it so these are very minor five differences between live session and your specimen session so as far as this uh, uh, particular environment examination environment is concerned it is very simple and it is same across its uh, skill level and your professional level of acc exams as well so there is a one fr paper at level 2 of acc exams and uh, strategic business reporting for your professional level examination of acca and for diploma frs all across three examinations this will be the same platform there are no differences of whatsoever as far as the platform is concerned so go through this instructions try out your hands on this specimen examination and then you will have you know comfortable uh, uh, situation or you you will be comfortable with the uh, computer based examination it will give you immense confidence i'll tell you because it's going to save you at least 5 to 10% of time which you copy from a paper based examination in paper based examination you generally copy the things from your paper on your answer sheet on your, from your question paper to your answer sheet you are going to save that time minimum 10 to 15% time is going to save going to be saved in this recopying the things it will give you an extra time to think on particular concept so this is a very welcome change as far as diploma frs is concerned already at professional levels and at uh, so first and second level knowledge and skill levels of acc exam this change was already executed so go through this and i wish you all the best for your examination there is still good time left for your examination so do prepare well for the examination thank you so much all the best bye bye